Thank you. Thank you. My dominant world champion or what? I'm in this business fighting my contract. I'm the undisputed IWD world champion and I'm still undefeated. And it's thanks to the dedication, hard work I've put in since I've been here to get a contract and to earn the cash in and to actually cash in. And of course, I'd like to thank to the desire and the heart and dedication of all you fans out there. That is right. You fans helped me, gave me the fuel to skyrocket me to this belt. And since I've been here, I defeated the former world champion, the Eclipse, and even the amazing strike. It's all thanks to you fans. Very own pit crew. What's that you got there? You don't fool us, TJ Eclipse, with this honor tournament of yours. After all, you're just scared of Sir Dave. I think that's very true. In fact, you might even say he's been eclipsed in true fear. <laughs> Crack myself up. What's this? Crusher will win and will be rehired and will be our next champ. And will crush Ivan Reaver. Hmm. Partially right. Ivan will be crushed, but he won't be the next champ because that belt stays around my waist. Try about that pit crew. You guys know what he's talking about. People will not be put down to that champ to stay. Look at all these signs. Tiger's gonna kill Ivan Happy. Definitely. Bad move putting the insane one in the tournament. He is going to win. Gary is the best. He'll win up until he gets to me. Since as soon as you get to me, it is over. With me and my power, my pit crew, I'll take anyone else. Why I'm undefeated. Why I'm the IW World Champ. Uh, hello. Hello, Blondie. What do you want? Well, hello there. I want to have a with wrestling domination. This is Chronic Pain Show 22. My name is Pro Wrestling X. Currently in early access on Steam where you can buy it as you can see from the link on the screen. Me, Ivatopia and my cousin who's going to be helping out with this have nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. And I'd also like to add the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen of the Pro Wrestling X game itself. Hope you enjoy this show. The blonde's coming out here now. Come on then. Left, right, left, right. Jog, come on. Pump them legs. Come on. Come on little Barbie doll. Get in the ring already. Oh, you're out here because Ken's not out here for you. And after all, you can't be here for the IWD World title because I defeated you last week. Barbie girl, blondie, whatever, you big greasy furball. At the end of the day, you didn't beat me last week. Uh, I think the record book state I defeated you at the pay-per-view to win the title and I defeated you last week to defend the title. And when it comes to the pay-per-view, because I haven't picked my match, I'm going to face you first or TJ. Either way, I will defeat you or him, whoever I pick. Now, let me get this straight. The record books may state you defeated me twice, but the facts are facts, you little bald monkey that only a mother could love. No, scratch that. No one can love that ugly mug of yours. So that's outside the point. Greasy backstabbing mob. But my point is, I did an elimination match. Then you got me from behind. And then after that, last week, you pinned TJ, not me. If you're a true fighting champion and pick me as your opening opponent, one on one, man to man, what I'll do to prove to you and to my pit crew that I'm the best, and so be it. The opening match will be me versus you for the world title at the next pay per view. And the winner will advance to the main event, and the winner, of course, be TJ Eclipse or the winner of the tournament. Satisfied? No more excuses. We finally face one on one, man to man. Oh, and by the way, three, two, one, here comes the crybaby. Call me a dumb name like that again, and I'll bust you right in the mouth. But what I'm really here for is to announce a great main event. My brother in arms and my best friend, Tiger, will be going against Pitbull tonight. My other brother, Grasshopper, will win his world tournament match tonight. What in that thick skull would tell you to say something that stupid to me? You truly are dumb, aren't you? Why could you cry, baby? Because you're the guy who can't win on his own without having everybody backing him. And this whole tournament is just a mirage to try and trick us and trick the fans. I'm saying this, but I actually agree with Barbie here. The tournament is all about the fact you're scared, Teodor's going to lose, and Sir Dave will fire your cheating behind. It's that simple. As for me versus Tiger tonight... You're on. I ain't back down from nobody. That's why you'll make decisions now, not him when he's the actual commissioner. Oh, look, you look a bit out of breath there. Anyway, Chunky Monkey coming through the ropes. Wow, look at Striker's trying to nail TJ's got through the ropes as he's taking Pitbull down. By the way, this is IWD Crime Pain Show 22. I'm Anatopia, and this next to me is... Tyler Steele. What do you think's got about happening with this little brawl breaking out? Well, it was very dumb to sit there and insult TJ Eclipse when he knew that he would run in the ring and show him what's up. We didn't know he was going to run the ring. Last week he had a lot to say. This week it was a lot shorter and sweeter on his part. 
Oh, back and forth, back and forth. This is not official match, people. Remember, these three will be at the pay-per-view and one other person. We'll have Pitbull going against Tiger tonight and we'll also have Grasshopper for his world title match while we go to the back for a interview with Happy Man. Tonight, Happy Man is going out there to defeat. I don't care if it's Crusher returning and he's hungry. Who cares? I don't care if it's Grasshopper. I defeated him for the extreme title. Man, nothing. I will advance and add the IWD World title to my waist. And the fact of the matter is, even though Ivan is not here because he's injured, I don't need him to wash my back. I can do it on my own. Happy days, people. Happy days. Wow, big fighting words from Happy Man. He's, he's, he's saying he's going to take the returning Crusher tonight. Remember, if Crusher wins the tournament and wins the world title, walks away with, at the pay-per-view with that world title, he will have his career back. As TJ, oh, I was about to say, is holding his own as he gets dropped in the back of the head. What's your thoughts on what's happening? Uh... It's uh, very interesting. I think it's a little preview of uh, what, what might happen tonight. As we cut, because we have to leave, the show's starting. Match two of IW World Tournament is up. It's going to be Crusher vs. Grasshopper vs. Happy Man tonight. The next match is going to be Bryce the Best vs. Von Count vs. Grimhold, and it's for a stream title shot to pay per view. And following up, the main event of the day was also going to be Pitbull taking on Tiger. Then the Tigers already took on TJ when he was a champ and he failed, but that's because he used a rookie mistake. As we go to the opening match, the other three are fought into the back. Crusher. His return match. If he loses, he's gone again. Grasshopper. Yeah, Grasshopper wants to prove a lot tonight. And of course, and the stream champion. Happy Man. And think Grasshopper wants. Uh, uh, happy Man last week beat Grasshopper. Uh, basically, uh, to, uh, to uh, keep his title, and the week, uh, well, the, the show before the pay per view, and he obviously defeated him again to win the stream championship. So these two are a war at the moment. What, what your thoughts on Crusher? Quick, because we have to go to the back because there's a wrestler in the back, and he's talking to you in a minute. Well, it looks like we're gonna figure out if uh, Crusher still has it in him. You know, the old Crusher that we saw months ago. Agree with that. What is this load of rubbish? I'm hearing that. My leader, my great amazing leader, has a lot of faith in me. That is load of bull. You know, I smell it from here. That's bull. Absolutely bull. And to prove it, tonight, making a match. Sir Dave, if you lose, you will be fired. Oh, Theodore just sat there and said he's basically going to put Sir Dave in the match and find What's your thoughts on that, Tyler Steele? It's a very interesting entry into the match, don't you think? Yeah, and, what, and what, what's going to happen? Because what, what happens? He's going to get him fired, and then he's, he's still contracted for the match at the pay per view. So if he wins a commissionship off him, he would just probably fire him in return. Most well, it's quite likely. obvious. Yeah, most likely. And Tito's not seen that big picture. As uh, we go to, to carry on with the main, uh, well, the main event, sorry, the opening match of the, the world tournament, the second match of it. We got Crush. I think he's doing with his return before. Oh, actually, sorry, we don't have time to uh, talk to you. I've got to the back. Striker's got something to say. It's come out of nowhere. I'm not even in your group, but even I can see that's a bad idea because in the circumstances, Theodore. So I don't think it, your leader's going to allow you to do that. Just a prediction on my part. Wow, Striker just said what I said. It's also obvious, isn't it, Tyler Steele? Yes, yeah, very interesting. What do you think about the match then? Because at the time that uh, it came out of nowhere. It seems that TJ's lost faith in uh, Theodore. It seems like he just can't get anything done lately. Definitely, and that's what we, I think the theory is, and I think the striker thinks it is. Hence why his leader won't allow him. Oh, probably, and then back Tito's got more to say. Let's go to him now. And well, seriously, striker, why on earth are you telling the commissioner what to do and what my leader thinks? I know my leader better than anybody. No one calls it to my leader than me, and no one calls it to me and my back than my leader. I think he seems threatened, like he feels like he's going to be cut off like a loose end. Yeah, he could be, but he said there's nobody closer to him than his leader. So he, he, he in a one way, he's saying his leader basically has got his back. Yeah, but you ever think of the saying, your friend's close and your enemy's closer? Well, apparently Stryker's got more to say. This is back and forth, it seems. See, right, it's closer to your back. You know, not got your back. He's literally close to... Yeah, I see where this is going. Well, good luck with you two. Hope the marriage goes well. You know who wears the trousers in that family, and it isn't you, Theodore. Wow! What, what he said? Is he alluding that, you know, where TJ and Theodore may be a bit closer than we suspected? Oh, he's just mad because his mentor beat the living hell out of him. That was months ago. Stop living in the past. Oh, whatever. He's doing it to hide his true emotions. Me and you both know it. As we quickly look at the match. Ah, oh, look at this move. As we go to the back, Theodore's got more to say. 
that's what I meant. He's got my back and I've got his back. I've got his back every night of the week and he has my back every night of the week. We have each other's back, so you shut up and stop disrespecting me. I have my leader's back and what do you mean marriage? The only thing going on between me and my leader is blood, sweat and tears every single night of the week. For we are the executioners. Back as we see a double drop kick to the face from Crusher. Seems Tia does getting very upset uh, with Striker. And you could kind of see what Striker was saying. You know, blood sweat every night. Mm. So you can strike him, we got the two back again! Oh, whoa, well, whoa! Well. He's to his own and all that! This kid's in the audience, don't be so graphic! I've already got the mental picture, it's disgusting me in my head on you two! Back with Crusher, bleeding all over the place! This could be it! It's Crusher repeating! One, two. two! Oh, Happy Man did not make it in time, but didn't matter, Crusher just threw To me, it seemed, it seems more like a striker and Tiro te te show. Definitely! Speaking of which, we have to go to the back, Latino! What? I'm lost! You're a weird guy, Striker. You really are. Anyway, back to my point. Forget what you're on about. Tonight, Sir Dave will be fired when he loses. Nope. Bad idea. After all, Sir Dave, for one, is not here. And number two, if you fire him, he still actually has his match at the pay-per-view. Meaning he will not only beat you, he will then probably fire you in retaliation because you screwed him so much. I know, I know that's yours and TJ's thing, but still. He's basically telling Tito exactly what we're all thinking here. You know, the, his leader's not going to allow, allow this at all. Oh, are we at a pin? Is this going to be over? No, Grasshopper's not going to allow that. As uh, we have to go to back again, apparently Tito's got more to say. Hey, caramba! Don't interrupt me. What I say goes, I'm the commissioner. No one's more power than me. What I say goes. End of. You two need to shut up. And Theodore, you're not putting Sir Dave in the You're Fired match. And by the way, Striker, stop putting all these nasty images in our head. No one wants to think about it. Oh, I guess you're right, leader. What you say, Gold, sorry. I was like, Striker's right. T -t -t TJ just shut tear door down, 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 down. Oh, Striker again, go to the back, here we go. Sound about now. What? What? Yep, he wears the trousers, you wear the dress. That simple. Wow, just wow, how insulting was that? Definitely. We'll strike. Oh, as we see, blood spurted all over the place from a kendo stick. That was wow, too. Oh, he's putting him. Wait, 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 wait. Why is One, Crusher down? Two. Crusher's not moving. Three. We got a pin. Crusher wins his match back. Yeah, definitely. But I think we need paramedics. Grasshop is not moving. What happened? I kind of was distracted by the striker scenario. As we go to match replays. I hope. Can you bring up what happened with uh, Grasshopper, please? Hopefully, it will. Let's talk for the rest of the replays. Grasshopper with a mighty power bomb. Oh, that was vicious to Grasshopper. Grasshopper to Grasshopper. Sorry, Crusher to Grasshopper even. Oh, look at this move. Off the top rope. What a moonsault. That that. Oh, I just got a uh, word. That got him in the move. It's after that move he did not move. He might have shattered his neck. He could then. Hopefully, they're taking him out. And here we can see the pin attempt. We get a one, we get a two, and three, and Crusher advances, and the Nubble Set getting his career back was awesome. What a great match, but it looks like he did crush Grasshopper's oh, neck. Oh, what's going on, Happy Man? Oh! Ooh. Tiger! Tiger's back! Is this smart on Tiger? He's got the main event, World Time Line. I'm not sure, maybe he's giving us a little preview of what's going to happen tonight in his match. Maybe. Oh, oh, that ain't good, Happy Man's Ooh. fighting back. That is not good. No, because this damage that he will take now will carry on to his match. Definitely. But the monster's back to his feet, and oh, he just threw his head into the stage metal! Wow, as we go to the stream title shot at the next pay-per-view match. Wow. We got Bryce the Best, who's still up for his first win. We have got Von Count, who wants to get off this loser streak he's been on. And of course, we have the mighty Grimhold, who probably is the fan favourite to win this match, considering the freeze histories. What your, your, your feelings on the title steal? It's it's very exciting. I hope Bryce the Best wins this because he's got a lot of talent, but he hasn't really had a match that could really could really fulfill his legacy that that's been laid out for him. Yeah, to me, his best match was debut against his brother so far, and he almost won the title. He almost won. He lost. But he still, you know, he still won the night, as they say. Yeah, and also Crusher gets so upset with him not winning of late, like, so that could be ending soon. And apparently, we got to the back. The, the former world champ's got something to say. Oh my gosh, would you just shut up with the insults? There is no type of relationship between me and my brother. I am a leader of an elite squadron of wrestlers that will get anything done that I ask. 
If you have a problem with that, come talk to me about it. Ass night in a night out, I guess. Like Strike was saying. What did you say? Yeah, it's funny, eh? <laughs> Don't even start with me. Okay, if we, we carry on with the main... Well, that's not the main event. We're not in the main event yet. The match before the main event. The second main event. Yeah. Von Gaunt takes on Bryce, of course, and Grim Holt as he gets some boot to the face by Von Gaunt. You can count on them boots to the face, can't you, every time he's in the ring. Who do you think's favored in this match? Grim Holt, hands down. But a lot oh, of people... Do, yeah. Oh, but Bryce... People want Bryce to pull it off. They really do, but the favorite is Grim Holt. As uh, we got, speaking of Grimhold, we've got to go to the back. He has something to say before this match started. As we see a major lion salt that he completely missed. Wow. Guys, you are not the best. I don't care if you're my friend, little protege. I'm still going to destroy you and Von Count. I'm going to destroy you too. Basically, it's Grim for the pair of you tonight. As I will earn an extreme title match opportunity. And Grimhold. I heard such intense words in my life from Grimhold then. What are your thoughts on what he just said? Well, basically, he's just e explaining his um, his need to win, his drive to win. Yeah, because I definitely think that the fans want Bryce to win this match and Von Count won the Grimhold, but they believe is a shoe-in for Grimhold because of the course history with him as they're fighting back and forth as we speak. See, so, uh, Bryce, why did you mistake with a mistake? Crusher's got to watch this and be like face palm and like he told him no more mistakes. I was thinking of Crusher, we've got to go to the back for him. Crusher's back, baby. That's right, earlier I defeated the Extreme Champion and also got rid of a Crash Hopper to advance in the World Tournament to get my career back. And tonight, Bryce is in there with my friend Grimhold. He's going to do everything in his power to win, and he better win. Or else there'll be more people getting crushed. And if I win the World Title and I come back full time, Bryce, if you're not doing well, maybe you'll be the first person I will crush and removed from this business because no offense but you're just embarrassment and deserve crushing unless you can prove me wrong tonight and win or else our relationship could be over and you will be crushed tonight wow more pressure on Bryce as he cuts Grimhold over as he, is he living up to that pressure do you think Tyler um Yes, he's put on a very interesting match as we go for a pin right now, but it's easily broken up by Grimhold. But like I said, he's got a lot of his legacy to fill, and wrestling in this industry will do just that. And he just gave a vicious knee from a lion salt to Grimhold's head. You know, open it gashing. Winning more. this could boost his career and definitely uh, get people to recognize him. Yeah, and that move he just did twice in a row to Grimhold. I think any other guy would have been down for four or five, eight seconds at least. But because it's Grimhold, he got straight to his feet and broke the pin up. So that was actually good ring awareness as we go to back. Von Kat has to say earlier tonight. Career's not been going the way I want it to be. That's why I'm training day in and day out at the moment. I'm going to change my look around. Maybe not tonight. I pray it's tonight, but maybe it's not. But I will turn it around. That is my goal. I will turn my look around. And you can count on that. Back as Bryce flies and of course Von Kao open that was nasty speaking of Von Kao after what he just said it feels to me he's lost his confidence what do you think Tyler yeah I guess his wrestling seems a little bit off but it's nothing it's nothing to really worry about but I guess that if you were to worry about it you'd probably worry about it tonight because a title is on the line title shot even but yeah you're correct with that but my thing is from his interview what he just said that he prays he'll win he hopes he'll win he wants his look to turn around that's not the, 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 the the Von Kant were used to, as the Bryce flies, what a move, he took Grimhold out and hit an amazing moonstroke on Von Kant. He's got, oh, he's pinning him, this could be it, maybe he ain't going to turn around. One, two, two, three, three Bryce gets first victory, four. and Von Kant's wow. look has not turned around. Amazing, what amazing performance. That's what I think was Von Kant's problem, his, oh, see, we've seen his match replays. I think that's what his problem is. He's lost his confidence. Normally comes out, you know, I'm going to win. You can count on that as he goes. This time it's like, I hope I win. I'm, I'm working really hard to turn it around. He, he wasn't, you know, I'm going to win like he normally is. His confidence is, is shattered. And Bryce, his first win over him, is going to shout even more. This is not good on Von Kaut's part. Not only did he get a win, he also advances in the tournament. See that amazing move? Yeah, definitely. Well, no, well, this is not a tournament. This is a number one tender spot for the pay-per-view for the extreme well, title. Yeah, well, not a tournament, yeah. Oops. And there we go, he pins him, one, two, and the three, and Grimhold gets up, he's like, what the fudge cake have you done, you little shrimpy boy, isn't he, as he stares him down, and the next match is going to be IWE World Championship, Pitbull vs Tiger, but before that, I hear we have got a replay, 
Yeah, this is the move that happened earlier tonight. This uh, grasshopper has been taken home, and we don't know who's what's wrong with him, but they said he probably won't be here for the next week. He's going to miss at least one week. That is just devastating. And we go to Crusher now in the back. What? You're asking me? I've apparently injured Grasshopper. Who cares? Grasshopper who, I say. I told you I was back tonight and I was making a statement. And unfortunately, that statement involved his neck. So what? Like I say time and time again, and it came true tonight, Grasshopper was crushed! Whoa, nobody knows whatever from Crusher, but what do you expect from this guy? He's always just straight for the title, straight for anything, and his career's on the line. And we have an interview with Gary in the back. He recorded, I believe. <laughs> the champ needs to know that even when Gary is not in the arena, he's still master of mind games. Look your fears dreadly in the eyes. Can you look deep? Deep, deep into your own soul, and will you keep your head when it happens? <laughs> Back on the screen now, we are showing the replay from early tonight involving Happy Man and Tiger. The reason for that, we are going to have a phone call from Ivan who's at home soon. But before that, what do you think what, uh, Gary has to say? Wow, he's got some kind of look, the fear in his eyes. Well, every time he says something like that, he's hinting at it. Hinting, excuse me, at something big. Well, thanks, Avatopia and Tyler Steele, for accepting this phone call. Basically, I'm sitting at home, as Happy Man said, and I'm watching the TV, and obviously, I'm quite distraught seeing my man, the happy dude, get taken out like that by that wimp. The biggest whipping boy TJ Clips has got at his disposal. I shouldn't be surprised after all, this is war and the executioners declared war on the rest of the locker room and me and Happy Man basically declared war back on them and last month we were winning, this month you're winning and the fact of the matter is we took that big oaf out a while back and he come back all power to him you know fighting through what we put him through he's got some of the biggest balls I know, and of course TJ loves the fact he's got big balls, and that's the, the point why he picked him. But even with your troops surrounding you, TJ, you are nothing when it comes to mind games. Nothing. In fact, not everything it has, it seems. Okay, I'm just going to put you in hold quickly because the next match is beginning in the main event of tonight. Pitbull taking on Tiger for the IWD Championship. I'll get back to uh, this call just uh, in a minute or so. Right. Just stay in hold, please. Why we we begin this match? The event begins. What do you think of Pitbull's chances against Tiger? Well, I mean, Bryce won his last match, so I mean, anything can happen. This is for the world title. Well, I mean, when I said that, oh. I wasn't disrespecting Bryce, but I'm saying, looking into the match, you're like, uh, Bryce might come close, but he's not going to win. But I have, but I have a lot of faith in him. And but these two debuted together as well, remember? Well, yeah, but Pitbull's a trash talker. I don't know if he's really a doer. He's undefeated so, so far. Well, yeah, but Tiger, I mean, he can say anything and back anything up. And he's so aggressive, and he's just, he's unbelievably talented. And to resume our phone call with Ivan Reaver. That's very intense by you, Ivan Reaver. Before you go, I've got one question for you, if you're willing to answer it. And that question is, was your feelings of Happy Man's words earlier? He said if he beat Crusher, granted he lost, but he was going to go for the IWD title. I, I thought that he was focused on the extreme and you were focused on the world. I'm just hypothetically, if he had won, what would that meant for your relationship with him at the moment? Nice question, Avatopia. Quite simple, he didn't win, so it doesn't matter. And lucky for Happy Man, he won't have to find out what would have happened if he had won. Like normal, I've got the guy's back as he's got mine. For this phone call, I think that's enough now. I've got to go and get my rest. So. Take care out there. Thanks for the time. I hope you like normal. This was bearable to listen to you. And as for the other guy, that Tyler Steel. I won't even go there. It's family show after all. I don't want to get taken off air for what I have to say to that guy. One last thing before I go. I just got to get my chest to here. Avatopia, Tyler Steel. How dare you put me in hold? Never ever do that again. Who do you think you two are? Nothing but a pair of, I don't know, octopus ink sacks. Bye.
Well, me and Ivatopia were wrestling legends, so that's who we are. If you don't know what it is, I figure you have a phone because you just called us, so look it up on Google. It could be a house phone with a wire, so you might not have Google attached to it. You don't know how old this phone well, is. Well, apparently he's talking about watching TV like we have no idea what a TV is. Yeah. Like the guy's calling from a cave. Well, he's basically watching the show he's trying to get across, wasn't he? And, and don't put you on hold? Dude, I will put a foot in your face and I will lay you out. Do not talk As to Tiger me like that. was just laid out. Oh yeah, interference, who's it? What? This guy looks just like... This is what Pit... Uh, not Pitbull. This is what Gary was talking about. He goes, look your fear yourself in the eyes. I don't know how he's got this look-alike fan or higher professional or whatever, but he looks just like Pitbull. What Pitbull is KOing? <laughs> Apologize for that. My throat attacked me then. Tell us to take over. Apparently, Ivatopia was trying to call his tribe. My throat viciously attacked me. I need my water. Where's my water? There's my water. I drink while you watch. And announce. <laughs> well, all right, I'll watch. Oh my gosh, what a nice strike to Pitbull. Hurry up and drink your water. This is amazing. Lovely. <laughs> what the heck was that? Do I drink my water? My throat's going funny. All right. Oh, what another, oh, what another strike. <laughs> Dang, oh, God. I'm out of water as he gets hit again and again in the face with that broken, splintered Kendall stick. And he's down. This guy should have got the ring of Pitbull. This wannabe. I guess he's using Gary's thing, looking directly in the eyes, and I think he's winning. What's your thoughts on it, Tyler? Well, the match is amazing. Our announcing is starting to suck towards the end. Yeah, my throat attacked me. It's one of these things when you're announcing, your throat turns around. I don't want to announce anymore. Attack you. Blah, 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 blah. You know, one of them things. Blah, 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 blah. You grab your on the throat from the inside. And blah, 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 blah. Like that. Blah, blah, blah. And he starts choking. Blah, 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 blah. You see? What are you looking at me funny for? Dude, I'm going to put you in a straight jacket if you don't chill out. I'm a bit cold, actually. It'll warm me up a bit. What? You're nuts, <laughs> dude. I'm awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to that. Oh, they're both simultaneously going out. Get synchronized wrestling now. As Pitbull, the fake Pitbull, leaves. The real Pitbull has got his arms behind his back and back. How do you know that's the real one? Because the fake one was bleeding and he left. And that was not bleeding yet. How do you even know that was him to begin with when he walked out there? Because they both look exactly the same. I think because, obviously, I think it was Gary did. Because you, did, you, did you see Pitbull's face when he saw the other one come out? He was, like, shocked and he, he didn't know what to do initially. Then he went and, you know, looked him in the eye and faced his fear. Basically, what Gary told him to do. Yeah, it was I mind so. games, but he got through it. And obviously, no offense, that other pit, that other pitbull got in the ring, that fake one. He was rubbish. He couldn't even hit anything to save his life. Where this pitbull, look how good he is! Whoa, the speed of Tiger! Get out of the way! That's devastating for pitbull. That could just cost him the title. He's back to his feet, and he takes two big boots to the face. What an amazing drop kick! You know, he, he jumped as high as uh, Empire State Building, then that was amazing. Or even Blackpool Tower was a bit small, a lot smaller. Chill back, it's cool. You're so awkward. You're talking about random things all the time. <laughs> He's pinning him. Outside of the ring. The rest One, counting it. Two. Two. Stupid champion Pitbull. Wow, he wow. just pinned Tiger. What an amazing <laughs> match and what an amazing win. And he's still undefeated as we go to the match replays. See, here he comes looking at that face as he's looking at him. And then he goes, come on, bring it. He's looking spear in his eyes. And look, that's, that guy's all he did was take Kendall to the head, basically. This move could have cost him the match, so that speed of Tiger was incredible as he out the way. He not only hit the stage, he also hit the candlestick. But again, maybe it's Tiger's um, a rookiness. He should have pinned him off of it. He, said he decided to beat him down. That's what he did with TJ when he first debuted. He beat TJ down, said he took on for the pin. And it cost him the match. I think the same thing happened then. The difference is, he's a veteran. Technically, people still a rookie. As we end the match, we... What, what the? Oh! We well, just caught... Speaking of TJ, he just walloped him. Oh, the strikers come through the crowd too. Oh, he's getting smacked. Tyler, what do you think's going on with this? What's happening? I don't know. It's an all-out brawl. I have no idea what's going on here. We started the show with these three, and it looks like we're ending it with these three. What I tell you? It's a preview of my, what might happen later tonight, and that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, definitely. My, my first prediction was right. Finally! He's got a prediction right! Woo! The world's going to end. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, what a move! He hits the barrier! Strike is making what are you on? Uh, a chair at the moment. That's how I'm sitting down to watch this amazing non-match. Because this is a not official match, people. This is just brawling. He's whipping him into the barricade again. Wow. 
These three, these are like the top of the leaderboard for all, the top of the league. These guys are off the chain. What a power bomb! Oh, oh my gosh, that has to hurt. That was, you see, he struggled to get more up because of the size of TJ. The striker struggled, but he managed to pull it off. Got the submission locked in, but striker wasn't going to have it. He wants a piece of him too. And this is just a bro between these three. Ooh, what a nice one. Striker's play. looking at Oh no, they got both working together on TJ now. We actually got some little partnership going on. Oh, no, oh, it looks like we could be. Oh, no, no, the partnership's over. That lasted long. Short and sweet, I guess. Oh, Brain Buster! We have the mat to protect them, but look at the bullies left. TJ's that going for the it. weapon, it looks like. Or maybe he's going high. For a high fly move. He's going to be Striker's Department. Whoa! Oh, he hit both of them. Wow. Hey, what's this? Oh! I didn't see you! I didn't see you! He said he was at home! And this is something about he's not all it seems. This wasn't what he's talking about. He's come here to get himself some He's blocking tiger. every shot. This is not good. He's not being oh. able to land anything. He knocks the weapon out of his hand. Uh oh, what's going he's on? He's got a hold of him. He's going for something big here. Oh! Brain Buster on the stage! This is not good. Oh! Ooh, what a nice drop kick that landed perfectly on his face. I haven't faced a beaten week after week from this guy since he's been back. Oh, so another drop him. kick. Over and over again, these moves are adding up. Definitely. Again! Oh. And think Tiger's been a vicious match for Pitbull. He's kicking him all over the and ramp. he's destroying Ivan. Oh! Again! And we, we Stay had, down! We had that whole thing, didn't we? Is Ivan hurt? And is Happy Man hurt? He's gonna be hurt. And they both were saying they're not. Oh, again, another drop kick. This is ridiculous. How many drop kicks did this guy do? Uh, oh! That one caught him open. The blood just spurted over his face. He's dripping. He has a crimson dripping mask over his head. Wow! This is insane! It matches his shirt color! Oh, what another... Oh, what another drop kick. What a nice drop kick. It was another, though. It was another and one, again, though. Yes. He's drop kick machine tonight! Isn't he tied to the drop kick machine? Why wouldn't he just get to Pitbull? He probably would have won the title. I was trying to get away. I think Ivan needs to leave. Look at that blood! He's just left the trail of blood! Looks like Tiger's limping up the ramp, trying to catch up to Ivan before he leaves the arena. Oh, uh, Ivan's getting stuck? I think Ivan's limping then himself. It looks like Tiger's oh. just fast enough to catch him for an RKO! Oh, that was vicious! Oh, Ooh, a nice strike, all that blood coming off his face. Yeah, they smacked him in the back of the head and just came up forward. Look There's at a it. lot of blood loss just, here. Yeah, dripping! Just dripping on oh, the stage! Oh, another one! We need a clean up crew, quick crew please! Get the mop ready! We need like five mops. Yeah, look, look at the trail! Oh He's making his own roads out of his boards! He's gotta have nothing left looks in like him! a crime scene out here. Definitely! He's fighting back. He is fighting now, back. Finally. Now they're trading punches. Oh, I don't think it's good idea to trade punches with Tiger. His punch is like sledgehammers. Oh. That was a good move on Ivan's yeah, part. Yeah, but that whip, that whip into the wall oh. added up to all that damage. But then he turns around and has a nice move, bringing him to the ground. Yeah, another RK. Oh, what's he going to do now? Oh, they're, they're wrestling. They're fighting over each other. Going to a grapple. We'll see who's going to have the advantage. I think Tiger's so weak, otherwise he would normally destroy Ivan with this. A nice clinch. Oh, he ended with a drop kick again. <laughs> This is ridiculous! Come on, Ivan! I, I know we kind of fell out earlier, but come on! This he doesn't deserve this. Oh, come wow. on! Amazing. Definitely amazing. The very brutal at that. Definitely. Oh my gosh! Another drop kick. How many has he done? Remember, Ivan advanced in the tournament uh, last week. Was so this drop kick city. He's gonna end it. Yeah, definitely. What the? No! The stage just collapsed on Ivan! The stage! Paramedics! Paramedics! You have to have a trophy! You don't have to steal! Why is the grab that goes to the fire when it goes into next week? I can't! The paramedics are Ivan now! Bye!